Hi, this is Clinton Bliss. I'm here to show you how to make a uh, flying paper butterfly origami. This is from the book Flying Origami by Eiji Nakamura. Here are a couple of examples. One's a little wider wing and the other a little narrower. So you start with a golden rectangle. This particular piece is uh, seven and three quarters by five and a half inches. If you need information on how to make this, there's another uh, video here. So in any case, you start out folding this in half. Then you fold it in half again, and I go along the folded edge here. That way if the paper is irregular at all, you still have a nice square piece. I'm going to open it back up. And fold it in half this way. And now we're going to make a fold going from right here in the middle at the fold. Go increasing all the way down to this corner. Uh, it's critical that you get this spot right here right. So you don't want it over the other fold or behind it. Down here it's not as important whether that's exactly perfect or not. This time we got lucky. Then you come around here and you fold this side, this corner, over to meet. And you open it up. Now we want to convert this fold here into a valley fold like this one. So we take this and we turn it over and we invert the fold. Now they're equal and we want to take this fold and turn it into like this one, or a ridge fold. So we take this and invert the fold. And now they're the same as well. Now we take our piece of paper and fold it in half again. Fold it in half once more. So it's nice and flat. We put our fingers right here and hold it. And we bring over this edge. This is where a little bit of magic happens. That fold that we had made before comes out right here. And if we just fold it down, this crease comes right in. It matches perfectly this line. Now we come over here and do the same thing. We hold it down. We open up here. We go until this fold comes in. See it there? And then we slide down. And again, it matches right there. You see these? They're almost perfect. And you open it up and you start to see your butterfly coming into place. See there? This will be the top wing and this will be the bottom wing. So right now we're making the uh, head and thorax. So you fold down. If you want a butterfly that's got skinnier top wing, you fold further. If you want one that's a little fatter, you come towards here. So I'm going to go for a fatter one here. Make a crease and then you come and fold the head this is where it'll stick out, just like that. And then you fold this in half. Line it up, crease it in good. Now, in order to differentiate the top wing from the bottom, we have to cut this little piece right here. So we're going to have to cut a line right along here. And the easiest way to do that, we have to do it on both sides, I've found, is to fold it in half and just cut out a little tiny bit of paper here. Just a little sliver. And I just pull those off. Now we open it up, and there they're free. See there? Now what we do is we fold this up. And again, if you want a little thicker wing, you fold it more like this. If you want it a little thinner, you bring it up this way. So we'll go like this. And keeping it even, just looking with your eyes. Look at where it overlaps here. This is probably about right. 
And now what we do is we fold this underneath. We invert the fold and fold it underneath. And again over here. There we go. That looks nice. Now, we come to the other side and we're going to shorten the wings up a little bit. We're going to put in, fold this over. About like that. And we'll do the same thing on the other side and to help it match, we'll fold it like this and we'll bend it over. Okay. So now we want those to go inside. So what you do is you open it up and just tuck this in all the way up inside and fold it back. Same thing on this side. You open this up and fold it all the way up inside and you close it back. Now we're making a little tiny crease here. This is just to mimic the tail of the butterfly. Now we fold it in half again, and now it's starting to look a bit more like a butterfly. But here, now we make a crease from right here where the head meets the wing, the head of the wing, all the way down to the end of the body, which is right here. Not all the way out here at the tail, but right here. And again, this starts to look like, you can see it here, like the butterfly. Look at that. Isn't that great? That's not quite done. It's asymmetrical, so we've got to fold this side over too. Same thing right about that spot, going down towards the body. And make it so it's equal both sides. And there you mostly have your butterfly. Now, I do a couple of other things. I try and differentiate the upper wing from the lower like this. And then I also make the lower wing come out, make it a little curve by just curling the paper here just a little bit. And that also makes it look more like a butterfly and it makes it fly a little bit more like one too. And here it is coming at you.